In the last lesson, I introduced decision-making using the simple if statement. The if statement in its simple form works fine for what are called one-way decisions, where only one set of statements is chosen based on whether or not a comparison or relational expression is true. But most of the time, we want to do more than one thing. We want at least a two-way decision, where we want to do one thing if the comparison is true and something else if the comparison is false. So to do that, we need something called an if-else statement. So let's take a look in this lesson how to write the if-else statement. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my previous program, if stmt.rb to if-else.rb, and then we'll open if-else. And first, let's look at the general form of the if-else statement. Like the if, we first make a comparison. If the comparison is true, then we execute a set of statements. Now, instead of just stopping, we also include the keyword else. And if the comparison is false, then we execute a completely different set of statements. And then we finish it off with an end. So again, to summarize, we make a comparison using if. If the comparison yields a true value, we execute the first set of statements. Otherwise, else, we execute the second set of statements. Now let's look and see how we can modify the example below to include an else. All we have to do is, after the if statements, add the keyword else and add put s fail to indicate that it was not a passing grade. So let's see how this program works. So we enter a grade right here. Let's do a pass first. We'll do a 90. And it indicates a pass. This time let's enter a failing grade, 65. And 65 yields fail because 65 is not greater than or equal to 70. So going back and looking at our program, we see very simply how it works. And to summarize, we perform a comparison execute one branch, sometimes the set of statements inside an if or an else is called a branch, execute one branch of statements if the comparison is true, otherwise execute another set if it's false. The if else works great again for two-way decisions. The problem is that very often we have situations where we need to do more than two-way decision making. We may need to make three, four, five decisions based on a longer set of comparisons. For example, looking at the code in front of us, if we change this from pass fail to where we actually assign a letter grade for a numeric score, then we have to check for numbers in the range from 90 to 100 A, 80 to 89 B, 70 to 79 C, 60 to 69 D, and below 60 F. We couldn't really do that using if else. We could conceivably do it with a long string of if ends, but that would be very, very inefficient and somewhat illogical when you know that there's an alternative to if called if else if. With the if else if, we can perform as many comparisons as we need to make all in one logical group. And we're going to take a look at the if else if in the next lesson.